The exhibition looks at Brock's still lives from 1928 to 1945. And that is, in some ways, um, an unusual period of time to, to, to select. Most often, people look at the what we call high cubism, or this period of innovation with Picasso from uh, 1908 to 1914. Um, but but this, the period of the exhibition is actually a very interesting moment for Brock's career. And it is also the period that corresponds to um, the, the beginning of World War II. He worked only in his studio in Paris. He um, worked in mainly in two rooms where he had heat. So he worked in the kitchen or he worked in his living room. Um, so many of the still lives from this moment show aspects of you know, the kitchen, so the, the fish or the um, bread, you know, the, the food that he was eating. And then others show the washstand or um, elements of his daily ritual and daily life um, appear. And, and the paintings become a little bit darker. So this, this period from 28 to 45 is, I think, a period of, of kind of transition for him. He's looking a little bit at surrealism. You do see him engaging again with Picasso, um, looking at his old uh, avant-garde cubist work from the teens. From surrealism, you'll see fruit bowls that look like they're, uh, they have teeth. You'll see a kind of calligraphic or curving line sometimes that's very um, like automatic writing that you would see in the surrealist work. Um, so you see him trying on different approaches. We were able to x-ray some of the paintings in the show, and uh, at least one of them has an entirely different still life composition underneath the existing painting. And you can't see that well with the naked eye, so we x-rayed that painting. And it wasn't that Brock was poor, that he, he was actually quite successful. So, um, so it must have just been um, an appreciation for the, for the canvas and the painting itself. So he would sometimes flip them over and uh, make a new composition on one side. So we have one double-sided painting. The earlier composition is upside down. So he must have flipped the painting over and then made, and it dates from about 1932, 33. And then the one uh, well, that's called the main side of the painting is 1939. In 1938 and 1939, Brock painted a series of still lives with skulls, and they sometimes have rosary beads or crosses. Um, it's a traditional motif that we call the vanitas motif. So art historians have suggested that this skull, ambiguous as it is, could be a reference to the transience of life during World War II. Um, but Brock um, very famously said, um, you know, that is not at all what they were about. They were simply there because they were three-dimensional tactile objects that you touch. Brock always played down any connection to the exterior world and the, the turbulence of the moment in his works. Um, so this is a question you know, that is posed by the exhibition. What is the relationship? And I, you know, we, we don't always have an answer, but um, that's up for the visitor.